Okay, this is kind of a follow-up video due to a question in the comments from yesterday's video about the trauma shears. So, the question, I don't see it on YouTube. I've got the, I got the email that I got the, the question, and it's a fair question. I got the email that I got the question, but I can't find it anywhere. It's not in the held comments or anything like that. I've had this happen countless times, so I'll answer your question here. So, the question was... If my trauma shears are in that military backpack or mil military style kind of backpack, how am I going to be able to, to get to them fast enough for them to be of any use? Fair question. Great question. That's not the kit that I grab if I need to fix something medically. That, that's not my, you know, that's not my go-to grab kit to fix things quick. Okay, that's, that's all the... That, that's the bulk stuff, more or less. I don't have tons and tons of medical supplies. This is the pack that I would grab if I needed to take care of something like that. Uh, and it's not completed. I haven't had the money to be able to complete it, so it is what it is. I just wanted to point out that, you know, <laughs> that this is uh, what I would normally grab. Now, if you notice on top, oh, looky there. Is this a North American Rescue Cat 7 tourniquet? No, it's not. It's a cheap Amazon tourniquet that I've had for like five years or so. Couldn't tell you how many times I've had this on me. I used to be one of the people every time their independent ran through his little deal, I would grab my tourniquet and put it on, right? This thing has been put on so many times and it's still like new still like new and it's been applied so many freaking times so i think it'll work that one time that one time i'm pretty sure that, that that'll work am i saying all amazon tourniquets will work fine no i'm not i'm saying buy one tourniquet from different sellers Find one that is a good one, like these are good ones, and then buy more from that seller. Call common sense. Unless you got a bunch of money. Hey, I don't care what you spend your money on. If you got a bunch of money, go create your own freaking tourniquet factory. I don't care. I'm trying to talk to the people that don't have a boatload of money that are being taken advantage of by these yahoos on YouTube. And, uh, by the way, those are the shears that are actually in my grab-and-go pack, right? Uh, who makes them? I have no idea. Probably North American Rescue, if I were to guess. If I were to guess, but I'm not positive. But, there's a, there's a, well, I believe it's an acronym, actually. I'm not positive, but I think that's an acronym. ARCH, I can tell you what it is. It's uh, medical airlift, you know, medical helicopters, the folks that swoop in, pick you up, and take you to the hospital. That's Arch. So these, these shears were actually given to me. I'm not going to identify the individual who gave them to me. But these shears were actually given to me by an individual that works in the, uh, we'll say, the EMT field, okay? Arch. So it's not that I don't have high speed good quality stuff what i'm saying is by the way you hear that Ooh, sexy sexy hey tj doesn't that just turn you on right turns the crank i bet your nipples are getting hard right tj oh baby anyway these are uh these are arch not arch brand but that's where they originated from i would imagine that's their 800 number there but um yeah so i do have a, a set of good quality trauma shears in my rip away pack that I grab. Hey, if, I'm going to be honest if I could, and I've said this a, a million times, I'll say it again because I speak the truth. If I could afford a kit from Bear Independent, I'd damn straight have one. My favorite kit from Bear Independent is the uh, SOB. And if I could, I would snatch up two of those kits, one for Jen, one for myself, in a heartbeat. Because they're awesome made kits. I'm not knocking his kits. His kits are every bit of as awesome 
as what his claims are. There's no, no doubt about that. I'm not questioning that. I'm not questioning the quality of his kits. What I'm questioning, questioning is the fear-mongering rhetoric that unless you have a particular brand tourniquet or a particular brand trauma shears, um, that your patients are going to die. Now, I'm pretty sure the father is not good with people using fear on people to make money. Now, you can argue the whole, oh, it's not in the Bible that you're not, you know, that it's not in the Bible that you can't put money before people. You can argue that if you want, but I think it's pretty clear and evident. So anyway, back to the question at hand. That bag that I had showed you in that video is not my grab-and-go bag. This is my grab-and-go bag. Shalom.